what's up guys welcome to my channel my name is Kyla and I'm super excited for you to be here today today's video is an introduction into what a lot of the videos on my channel are gonna be it's motivational you know growth loving yourself confidence all that good stuff I basically wanted to start making videos about my journey to loving myself because I feel like there's people who don't really have people that are close to their age or in their age group that can really help and go through this journey with this I really feel like we're all going through the same thing but nobody really talks about it it's like this little oh I'm going through but I'm gonna go through it on my own I'm not gonna get help from nobody but it's like no way you need help we all need help why don't we just help each other and be there for each other while we're going through this journey it's a hard journey and it's terrible to go through by by ourselves if you need someone to go through it with you I'm here that's basically now what I'm taking responsibility for and this video is about my realization that I need to even start my journey and what I did like the very first steps that I did to basically loving myself and giving myself what I need if you want to know if you want to learn if you want to grow then keep watching the start of my journey was in high school senior year to be exact and I'm still going through it probably won't ever stop senior year was tough but it was a lot of realization and I'm very grateful for it but during my senior year I went to a Bible study at my church and this I thought it was gonna be a normal Bible study but no I quickly learned that this Bible study was going to change my life basically this Bible study we're talking about power of the tongue and we're talking about this Bible verse that basically said hey guys so I said the verse wrong and I'm just gonna voice over it because I can't fix it <laughs> so it's Matthew 18 18 and it says truly I tell you whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven enjoy the video and my bad we were talking about the power of the tongue and how a yes on earth is a yes in heaven and a no on earth is a no in heaven so what you speak what you manifest on earth will be spoken and manifested in heaven we didn't just talk about that but it was kind of like the examples that were given like you know saying you want this to happen to you you want that to happen to you or certain things like saying no one's gonna support my youtube channel i said that don't know why so obviously i want people to support my youtube channel you say all these things and it's like okay you say it on earth you're manifesting and then it's gonna happen in heaven you're manifesting we we talked about that and I I had to pause and I really reflected on my life I I um whoa I have some things to do I basically learned that a lot of things that I say aren't very positive things that I say about other people are things that I don't want people to say about me things that I say about myself are things that I don't want in my life you wouldn't want that to happen to you so why are you saying it it was a really hard realization but it was a necessary realization because it just was a start to letting all that stuff go once I accepted once I didn't deny that I was saying bad things and like saying negative things. It was like, okay, now I'm in that space where I can let that stuff go. This did not happen overnight. It wasn't like I went to the Bible study and the next day I was like, all right, so we gonna stop. It was a span of a year. I started minding my business, whatever she got going on, whatever they got going on, don't got nothing to do with me. I'm not gonna talk about her and her family issues. I'm not gonna talk about him and his financial issues. That is none of my business. I don't need to talk about it. I mean, what if those things happen to me? Obviously, I wouldn't want people to talk about it. I was like, okay, we're ending that. We're not doing that anymore. Next, we gotta cut out talking about myself negatively, which, listen, that is hard, okay? I still do it to today just after all that i basically had a lot of free time it was weird it's just like now i have all this time to just look at myself and i was just realizing well there's some things you gotta work on this is where my mom comes in she is the start of my journey she told me to put these affirmations write them down 
put them on my mirror and I would see them every day. I'll start to believe them, you know, like whatever I needed to hear, write it down, put it on my mirror. You'll look at it every day. You'll look at it every night and you'll believe it. I was like, Ooh, that sounds, that's smart girl. That's smart. So I did it. I wrote them down, I put them on my mirror. And then, you know, I would look at them every day. Some days I wouldn't even bother to read them. And then I just kind of was like, ah, it's not really working for me. And that's something that worked for her. So I thought it was gonna work for me, but not everything works for everyone the same way. So eventually I started thinking, a yes on earth is a yes in heaven. Hmm, maybe if I speak these out loud, like instead of reading the same ones every day, I pick one. I'd be like, okay, I need to hear this. I'm gonna tell myself this all day. And it mostly came in the mirror. I had to look in the mirror and tell myself, you know, you're beautiful. Eventually, I started to believe it. I mean, it was never a lie. Anything that you need to hear from yourself is just something you need to remind yourself. It's not believing something, but it's a reminder, first of all. That's, that's that. I had to remind myself that I was beautiful. The more I told myself I was ugly, the more I saw myself as ugly. And then eventually, the more I told myself I was beautiful, the more I started to see beauty. And it was, it was great. And at first I thought it was dumb. Telling myself I'm beautiful, but girl, the beauty not just gonna fall from the sky. But in a way it kind of did. I started speaking it and it started happening. And I was seeing it. I look in the mirror and I just be like, wow, I can't believe, like I just, I would have never imagined. And other things, like telling myself that I'm proud of myself when I do something instead of telling myself that it could be better. Still working on it, but it's getting better. And the more I tell myself, I'm proud of you, you did that, I'm proud of you, the more I look at my work and I'm like, oh, I did that. Like, I body. I'm gonna keep telling myself that I did that. I'm gonna keep telling myself that I'm proud. I'm gonna keep telling myself that I'm beautiful, that I'm smart, whatever I need to hear. I'm gonna continue to do it and I'm not gonna stop because it's not something I need to believe, it's something I need to be reminded of. That's, that's how I started. I went to the Bible study, I stopped talking about people, I stopped talking about myself negatively, and then I started talking about myself positively. And I started to see those things that I was speaking, you know? And it really started working out for me. I'm still working on it, I'm still getting there, but we're gonna do this together. That's the whole point. We got, we're we doing this together. So just a little message for everyone. My biggest takeaway is that we talk down on ourselves a little too much. And that's one of my biggest things that I'm trying to stop doing. It's really hard, it is very hard, but I really wanna stop. And I want you to stop because I know, I just know, I will bet that you are talking bad about yourself in some way. And I want you to try your best to replace one of those negative things you say with a positive thing. So like every time you say, I can't do this, replace that. You may say it, but you're gonna be like, no, I can do it. Every time you say, oh, that was okay, but scratch the butt, it, there's no butt. And it wasn't okay, it was great. You bodied that. I just want you to try it. Don't say whatever, say something positive. And if you do say it, be like, oh no, I was tripping. I ain't mean that. I ain't mean what I said just now. Try it, please. Let me know how it goes in the comments or on Instagram or Twitter. And I really hope you guys got something from the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you took something away. Don't forget, replace the negativity. Just one thing, okay? You don't gotta be everything. Start small. Thank you guys for watching so, 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 so much. I hope you have a great day, a great week, a great whatever. I'm out.